Okay, so this is where I'm at with the video game on, and it's what, the 17th, today we're Friday, uh, 17th of April 2015. I'm sorry if I'm a little jittery, I'm just not too well today, I've been going through a lot this week. Uh, a lot of walking for entire days, a lot of legal stuff, procedures I'm trying to, you know, uh, I'm trying to start and and it's really been tough on me, so on top of staying up very late, trying to make this video game and worrying every day that someone's going to break down my door and just take me away like the police or whatever to the hospital. So uh, my life is just completely upside down. So when you see what I'm doing, take into account that I might not be moving so fast, but because the reason would be that I haven't been taught how to do these things on my own, and I'm also living something incredible on the side parallel to this. All right, <clears throat> so I set it up yesterday with code. Okay, I'm, I'm shaking too much here. I set it up with the code so that Mario can run into objects, okay? So he can pick up coins, and you can see how it affects the code, like the the scoreboard at the top. So let's see, yeah, he's going to want to run into this code. Bam, he's got 100 more points. Now he's got 200 more points and 300 points. Then he picks up a grow mushroom, uh, excuse me, a one-up mushroom, I call it a one-up mushroom. I think that's what everybody calls it, but, uh, and nothing shows up on the, like, you know, anywhere else, but the score goes up to 500, so it's 200 points for uh, a one-up. Then he's going to get another 200 points, but he's also going to grow with this mushroom here. Okay, now the animation is not complete, or doesn't, it's not able to complete because unlike the original game, I didn't set it up so that everything pauses while he's growing. Uh, I'm going to have to change that, of course, because it all has to look very authentic. Um, I didn't make it so he can jump yet in this uh, exercise here, but uh, he can become, he can turn into all the other states besides uh, the Star Mario so far. I'm still really nervous about the Star Mario setup because it's code that's going to be like working apart from everything else. He's got to be flashing at a crazy rate. So while he's running, he's going to be changing colors. So how do you set it up so that he changes colors? That is going to involve a lot of thinking on my part. I mean, I, I did uh, an exercise on my own with a block to see how I could get it to change colors on its own. But it's it's not Mario that's changing; it's just a block. So he's also it's, the block is also not moving all over the place uh, and animating with other frames at the same time. So I imagine I'll use conditional statements that if he's already if he's like the regular you know firepower Mario, or if he's the big Mario or the small Mario, it's going to alternate between a uh, certain you know set of uh, colors and certain animation uh, images like animated uh, frames. Anyway, so when he runs into the Goomba now, I just have to, uh, well, he's supposed to just be small and be able to run around, but because, again, I haven't set it up as a condition so that he could continue for a few more seconds uh, without being affected by any hit tests, well, he dies automatically now. But I'm going to be changing all this, but the way that it's affected the other file that I keep showing you, the other test that I'm doing, is this here okay so Mario you know like before I'm sorry I'm really nervous about my door I keep hearing things outside and I wonder you know I always wonder now if someone's gonna come and, and take me my doorbell rang earlier and I just went nuts I, I felt like I was being pulled to the ground like while I was in the shower like I was gonna you know like I was gonna fall because it's too much. Nobody should be able to, nobody should have to go through five arrests because a stupid social worker, anyway, invents some crap about them and then they're stuck, you know. I don't care if she's lost her job. I don't care if she can't work again. I don't want her to ever work again as a social worker because there's no reason why anyone should have to go through this because of someone lying, making up stories to protect her job and her, her relationship there. Anyway, uh, so anyway. Uh, I'm talking about the video game, but I'm just losing my mind today. So, I mean, not literally, but uh, let's say my feelings are making me sick. So, all right. So, look, you see he's running into the, the tube here. He's restricted. When he's, he's restricted in his movement, he can't go further than that tube because there's a hit test that 
if the uh, the com well if the as it's entering the frames, if he see if the computer can or a flash or whatever considers that uh, he has the same sharing the same space as that object. So if his x coordinate is about the same as this one, let's say, then he can't move further. His velocity and momentum is cut. He can continue going backwards afterwards if I programmed it to go back, which I will do for the animation. But um, he can't move into a block like he can past all these other objects. And the other thing that's important to note is in, the pre in a previous video, I had all these background elements here. And as Mario moved out of the screen, uh, uh, he started, these objects started appearing and for the first time, and he would end up behind them. Well, in order to change that, all I had to do was say um, stage add child at. So there's like a list, a display list. So you imagine different levels. Every object is on another level, like in Photoshop, okay? So you, you put an object on the screen, then you put another object on the screen with code. Well, automatically, it's one thing on top of another, on top of another. So with display, uh, excuse me, um, stage dot add child at, and using the camel uh, hump um, coding, so it would be like add would be lower, lowercase letters, A-D-D, -D, Child would start with a capital letter, C, capital C, H-I-L-D, and then capital A, and then T. So add child at, and then you have open brackets, and then you have uh, the name of the object. So Mario, I put him above everything else. Actually, no, I did the reverse. I put everything that was being added to the stage at a level way behind Mario. So then I can be sure that he shows up in front of everything else. All this seems very complicated, and it is complicated. I've struggled a lot for many years trying to figure this stuff out on and off. I get depressed because it's just so heavy, and I thought, you know, I'm not good enough to figure it out. But I'm telling you, anybody who wants to make a video game, anybody who has any questions, let me know. I won't give you all the work that I did. Screw that because I worked like a maniac. It's been seven years. I've made animations by hand. I've made every object here. Entire weekends were devoted to uh, making each character, like tracing them off the internet. But I believe in helping people. So if you're interested in understanding something about how the code works, if I can help you, write me and I will help you. No problem, all right? Um, there's also a bunch of other things you can like websites you can look into, uh, books you can buy or download for free on the torrent site. Uh, and, you know, you can maybe change your life like I'm trying to do. I'm, I'm desperately trying to do. And, uh, you know, I mean, this might seem like nothing. This is a Mario game. You've seen Mario before. But this would prove, beyond a doubt, that I'm able to make whatever game I want. Because Mario is not that easy to make. It's not just a bunum in a square, in a in a restricted area that moves up and down like Pac-Man, where he doesn't stop, he just keeps going until he hits a wall, then he stops. This is something that you control all the way through the game. He's got to, the computer has to check to see if he is on the ground and not in the air. It's got to check to see constantly if he's running into another object or a bad guy. It's got to animate bad guys going back and forth with a certain kind of pace. There's no AI involved. I mean, AI is an artificial intelligence or an assemblance of it, but there is a lot of code to set up in order to make this interactive the same way Mario was interactive in the original game. And there's an easing that happens when he runs, and it's not being respected right now. I have to correct a few mistakes in the code. But, I mean, between the easing, between the, all the considerations for how this is supposed to work, the timer, the the flashing animated objects, uh, you know, making things appear and disappear off the stage all the time, and add to scores and add to all, all the um, everything that makes Mario what it is, and then the music that I'm going to have to create myself and try to make it as close to the original as possible. It's very demanding. So if I can prove that I can do this, then I can do anything, and so can you.